Hi everyone and welcome to Home Reno Collectibles where today we're taking a real quick look at the Star Wars Black Series 6 inch Imperial Shock Trooper. Now this is actually, um, well not super hard to find or anything, but it is an exclusive, uh, it's from the uh, Battlefront game, and it goes for 2-3 to three times as much as the regular figures on eBay. I got mine for £25, which in the UK is about £5 more than the regular retail for the figures, so it's a pretty good price. But remember, it is just a regular repaint of the, uh, you know, regular Stormtroopers. And if you're not a massive fan of Battlefront, then I would definitely not go ahead and, you know, track it down on eBay or something. Because those prices are just extortionate for what you're getting. And then on the back here, we can see uh, a little bio right there. And that's pretty much it. Down here, we have all this warning and stuff. So let's go ahead and get this thing open and take a closer look. And so here is the Shock Trooper out of the packaging, and here we can see him next to the Emperor. I think it's a pretty nice display, especially if you have a few more of these guys, as in the Battlefront game. That is what they are if you play as the, you know, the hero hunt and that kind of stuff. They are the bodyguards. And we see him as that role in Episode 3, but obviously, uh, you know, in the Phase 2 helmets and whatnot, and not in the, uh, you know, the classic trilogy gear. But it does suit it very, very well. I really, really do like this uh, style of armor painted in the Shock Trooper way. We don't usually see them painted as anything else other than, you know, Shadow Troopers and stuff, so they, it does actually look pretty nice. Now, it comes with the same accessories as the regular releases, so you have the uh, longer blaster right here, which actually has a little bit more silver on, to be honest, than uh, we normally get, or at least this one does anyway. And then we have the regular blaster down here, which is just all in black. We don't have that little silver bit over on here just like we did with the Han Solo figure. So as you can see we have this nice paint job with the red everywhere that you can see the red. Other than that it is exactly the same as the regular uh, Stormtroopers except for these little bits on the side right here that have been painted and also the belt back here. So it has, I don't even know what colour that is, it's like a greeny tan kind of a colour, but it's painted pretty sloppy to be honest, it's not all that great as you can see, there's more of it built up in areas here and then here it's like barely painted at all. All of the red is actually painted really nice, as you can see the helmet just looks absolutely awesome, I really really do like this look. Uh, as for the articulation, exactly the same, so you got left and right, you got lots and lots of pivot, you got up and down, really awesome articulation there, shoulders move out this far. Not all that much, all the way around, rotation there at the upper part of the arm, double jointed uh, elbows, rotation at the wrists, this one goes in and out like so, and then this one goes up and down like so. We have a diaphragm which moves left and right, it's kind of ratcheted, and it allows to go uh, forward and back, and also side to side. The belt is kind of flexible right here, so it allows for the legs to come out all the way, and then we have forward and back movement a little bit, rotation at the thigh, double jointed knees and then the feet go up and down and have really nice ankle pivot. And it really does stand out, it's the only figure that we've got from the Battlefront game so far, so definitely pick it up if you're a fan of the game. If you have the Emperor Palpatine figure then it definitely makes for a pretty cool display. So yeah, there's not really much more for me to say, if you enjoy the red on it then definitely go for it. Uh, you know, I still have uh, lots of other clone troopers and stormtroopers and stuff to review, so you know, I'm not gonna make these videos too long because they're all pretty damn similar. So thanks for watching guys, if you enjoyed the video go ahead and give it a like. Now I got this from Comic Con, so if you check out my Instagram, it's homerino123 and the link is in the description below, you'll actually see uh, everything else that I got from Comic Con which I'll also be reviewing. To check out more Star Wars videos, go ahead and subscribe. So thanks for watching guys, and I'll see you next time.